So Unity apologizes. So on September 17, 2023, they left an update. We have heard you. We apologize for the confusion and angst the runtime fee policy we announced on Tuesday caused. We are listening, talking to our team members, community, customers, and partners, and we'll be making changes to the policy. We will share an update in a couple of days. Thank you for your honest and critical feedback. So basically a surprise to absolutely no one. We all knew that they were going to backtrack on this, especially when it comes to the most important thing with any of these things, and that is money. When you start screwing over the people, the communities that actually give you money, well, this is what you're going to expect. And like many businesses of this size and then being run by, I would say, absolute morons, when you think that you're too big to fail, well, here's a real world example of that is not the case. And even though there's definitely going to be people out there, businesses, communities that won't be able to leave Unity anytime soon, and there might even still be supporters of this company, I would think for the majority of people, they will be looking seriously at alternatives, whether it's Unreal Engine, Godot, or any other thing besides Unity. And no matter how many apologies that they give, I would say people aren't dumb. <laughs> they know that they've been screwed and lied to. And there's no way that they're going to be able to make this up and change things because they've already lost the trust of all these people who actually use their product. And I don't care how much money in marketing that they're going to put in this. I don't think anybody's going to forget this. And hopefully, you know, for people who are thinking about getting into uh, development, you know, creating games, just becoming a creator for this really vibrant and awesome community, that they'll probably definitely be more wary of using certain things and, you know, spend more time to research things and really give themselves, you know, more, I would say, options. Because at the end of the day, you know, especially these larger companies that are multi-billion dollar companies, you don't really have much control over it. About the only control that you do have is where you spend your money. And I know that's easier said than done, but hopefully things like this will actually make people more aware and, you know, really take a lot closer look at these companies and mainly the people that are running them. So if you actually had any thoughts in this, be sure to leave it in the comments area below and I'll see you on another video. Protect your online privacy and keep data brokers from selling your personal information by using Delete Me, the number one privacy information remover service since 2010. Sign up today and get 20% off your first order. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below.